Tony is with us in Baltimore. Hi, Tony. How are you? I'm stressed, Dave. Uh oh. How can I help? Uh, all right. So here's the deal. My mother-in-law is the co-signer on my wife's student loan and her car loan, and we're trying to to follow baby step two. My wife and I did FPU, and we're both working two jobs. I'm driving Lyft, even though I have. A uh, salary, but anytime we don't pay on the student loan, my mother-in-law pays on it, and we catch the backlash because she doesn't tell my father-in-law. Why wouldn't you and pay I, on the student loan if you're banking on if you're out there working your butt off, working baby step two? Well, it's a little bit further down. I've got a bunch of medical debt and a bunch of stuff from my first marriage. If we're going by numerical value, no, I, I, I don't. I didn't, it, tell, I didn't tell people to not pay other bills well, in the debt snowball. Well, it, it's below the line. Right now, after we pay rent, after we... You don't we, have the money to pay all your bills. You're not in baby step two. Okay. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Yeah, but you're you're in baby bill. step point five. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get current on everybody first. So what's your household yeah. income? Uh, it, it fluctuates, I'd say, between 80 and 90. Okay. And how much is the student loan debt? $80,000. Good Lord. And how much is owed on her car? Six. I'm actually paying two hundred dollars a week on that to get it paid off faster. Good. That's going to free up some room. Uh, wait a minute. You're paying extra on it. Well, I'm paying two hundred dollars a week. Is it's that just... the normal payment? No. So you're paying extra on it. Yes. Meanwhile, not paying the student loan on time. Yes. Wrong. So gotcha. first rule is let's get current with everyone before we pay extra on anything. Okay. And I don't blame you for wanting to get her out of your ear, and I'm trying to help you do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you have six thousand and eighty thousand, and what other debt? And how? And you got medical bills. How many medical bills? I lost count. I didn't have health insurance when I was younger. Oh Lord. And and what's is a bunch of that in default? Have you got a bunch of it on payments, or are you just paying it as you can? I'm paying it as I can. Okay. How much total is that? I, obviously, my wife figured all of that out. I didn't. I don't have it sitting in front of me. Well, give me a guess. Twenty or two hundred? I'd say about twenty. It's it's a lot of little stuff. Gotcha. A lot of little ankle biters. Okay. Yep. What other debts? Uh, I had I owe seven thousand dollars on a car that was repossessed when I was younger. Are you paying anything on that? Not right now. Good. Okay. Don't. Right now. Okay. The medical bills that do not have any payments on them that you haven't worked out a deal with, don't pay anything on them. Set them to okay. the side. Set the repo to the side for now. What other okay. debts have you got? Uh, we owe about six grand on my car. Okay. So six grand each on two cars and you're making 80. Mm -hmm. Good. Did you say your, your household income was 80? Yeah, it, give or take. I okay. mean, All right. with my, my wife's a server. Okay. And, and how much 40, is uh, I, and how much is your rent? Uh, Eleven fifty. Okay. You guys need to do a written budget, and you need to personally get involved and see the numbers in the budget, so you know what they are and can answer mm -hmm. these questions when you and I talk again. Gotcha. Okay. You need to get more involved because she's carrying all the weight of this by herself and she's having to cringe every time the phone rings and the ID says her mom's number. Yeah. So you guys make enough to pay minimum payments. If you don't pay anything on the medical bills except what you've already agreed to do and you mm -hmm. don't pay anything on the repo right now and you pay the student loan minimum and you pay the car payment minimums, you make enough to do that and eat and still have money left over to start working your debt snowball. Gotcha. So get current, stay current. That's Then let's save $1,000. Baby step one. I got that. Okay. You got more? Uh, we st we capped it at a thousand, and we kind of refill it. I'm in the middle of a custody battle. Okay, all right. Do you have any other money in any kind of investments? No. Okay. All right. Good. So let's um, pay minimum payments on everything. Walk through a bunch of those ankle biters. Any of the the medical bills that you promised to pay, knock them out. The ones that you're not paying anything on, set them over on the side. Like I said, okay. Then let's gotcha. clean up. Let's clean up the medical bills you're paying payments on the two car payments. Uh, first, 
then you stay current on the student loans, then we'll go and do settlements with those old medical bills and that old repo. You can settle that old repo for about 1500 bucks if you negotiate it. Be sure you get any settlements in writing, and be sure you do not allow them to have electronic access to your checking account. So, there you go. Get after it, dude. Hold on, I'm going to send you a copy of the book, The Total Money Makeover. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show.